Petroleum Industries is the leading manufacturer of fire alarm systems in New Zealand. My name is John, I am a technical support engineer. My name is Jeremy, I'm a senior software engineer. We develop software for the Petronic fire panels. Uh, my name is Gordon, I'm a process engineer working with Petronics. Okay, so we need to have a brainstorming session. I've had a varied career path. I started out with uh, Transpower, doing IT actually. Then I moved into telecommunications. Then I moved into the fire industry. Yeah, I started out doing a Bachelor of Electronics. I then moved into a job doing electronic hardware design. And from there went into doing embedded software. And now I'm doing fire alarm systems. So when I finished high school, I uh, worked with a company called Dell Computers. And uh, that gave me the motivation to, uh, to do a degree in electronics. So while I was in university, I worked with a company called Analog Devices. We made semiconductor you know, integrated circuits. And after that, I worked with a company called General Electric, and I'm now working with Protronics. All right, guys, if we could reconvene in a few weeks' time, would that be okay? Yeah. Once we've decided we do actually want to produce a new product, we will go through and we'll collect up all of the um, the feedback we've had over a period of time into uh, what we call a marketing specification. In designing a new software for a new product, uh, we, we'll first get a, a look at the requirements. We then do a bit of analysis on that, figure out which features are implemented in software and assign people to code those up. All the various different parts are ordered for the product. I will take all of those parts and then I will design a production process that will actually put it together. In my group of developers, there's people with various different skills. I tend to be one that sort of decides who I think is best to do which particular task, and I usually work alongside them to make sure that they're doing what's expected of them and nice. get the best use out of them. Splash screen to start is self configured Anything that needs to be done is a job that I would be able to do myself. It's, it's something that I have to have a pretty good knowledge of, of the whole product and how it all works together. You've managed to get most of the way through. The Keeping the, the rest of the team happy and motivated is something that's pretty important. When people are happy, they do the job better, they're, they're not wasting time, they're not making mistakes. We all measure ourselves by results and uh, we have to measure ourselves on the production floor as well. So we've changed from a workstation uh, production setup to a lean line production setup. The benefits and the results that we've seen from that are absolutely brilliant. People are actually much, much happier working in that type of environment. A year later they're saying they wouldn't go back to the old methods, they want to keep with the new methods. Because another one of my roles is actually testing equipment, I sort of get a perverse pleasure, I suppose, out of finding bugs. Okay. So I, I'm the first customer guys. that gets to see the product. Alright guys, here's the new prototype. I think people need to get experience. You know, they need to work, have worked in a previous environment where, you know, people manufacture electronics. Um, yeah, the real key is to get experience. Turning on the countdown timer, turning on the LEDs. As Kiwis, we sort of tend to be pretty innovative. We tend to have to do a lot of things ourselves. So I think that's really important to get get as much experience in, in different fields as possible. The difference with this product is that we've used, instead of pin jumpers, we've used rocket switches this time. In New Zealand, because we're such a small country, the electronics industry and those businesses are there, but they're often hidden away, and you've got to have the passion to go out and search for them. I like my job because it's a strong mixture between creativity and logic. Um, I suppose a lot of my days, uh, you know, implementing ideas or making ideas happen. So I'm not always sitting at my computer and um, you know, staring into a computer screen all day. I enjoy it because I get to learn a whole variety of stuff and I get to impart that knowledge to people. Uh, and then, then you're likely to see it actually working. I like my job because it's, it's varied. You deal with a whole lot of different bits of hardware, different software tools, and you never really know from one day to the next what you're going to be faced with.